Hey, hi, hello, welcome, welcome back to my channel, my book loving friends. My name is Christina Finu here, and we are starting a brand new vlog today. Hello, how are y'all? Um, it's Sunday, it's March, what, 19th? And we're gonna have a productive ass Sunday. Um, we are going to go do our laundry now, and then we're gonna go food shopping and continue cleaning the house. We did clean a good chunk of the house, but I have to clean the kitchen. So we're gonna have a good productive Sunday today. I also have to edit a bunch and import a bunch today. My main goal is just to finish editing my weekly reading vlog so I can get that up hopefully tomorrow. I'll also have to make a thumbnail for that vlog. So we're gonna have a fun productive Sunday. I'm probably gonna make this into like a weekly reading vlog. Um, I had an idea in mind where I think I might still do it, um, where I read thrillers for like a week. Um, I think I'm still going to try to read at least two thrillers. I put a bunch of thrillers that Jan recommended me um, on hold at my library and I won't know which ones I'll be able to actually get until tomorrow. So whichever ones are available to me from my library I will be reading this week. But I ended up starting Open Water today. Now I started this book a couple months ago when I wasn't feeling very well. But I just was not in the mood for it and it was very very like emotionally grabbing um, because the writing in there is so beautiful it's emotional to read like I'm not even kidding you it's so beautiful um so I put it down a couple months ago I picked it back up because a couple weeks ago I saw that the uh, audiobook on audible was on sale so I just went ahead and snatched it up and I'm loving it I'm literally 24 pages in and I already know it's gonna be five stars like I already know it's gonna be five stars so I am not going to listen to it the entire time i think i'm gonna pick up another audiobook i'm thinking about picking up haunting adeline because yesterday i did my 24 hour readathon and all of my friends told me that i'm gonna love that book so much and i think i'm gonna pick it up i think i'm gonna pick up the audiobook i did get the audiobook yesterday on audible so i might pick that up later i don't really know yet but we're gonna have a nice productive day hopefully get a lot of reading done i would like to finish open water today but i want to sit down and annotate the heck out of that book that's all I really care about. I just really want to sit down and annotate the book. But other than that, I think that's everything for the day. Um, the only other book that I'll be reading this week is going to be A Dawn of Onyx. Because that is for my book club and I have to read that by Saturday. And I'm physically reading that so I'm going to take my time. I probably should dedicate a lot of physical reading time to that also this week. So anyway, I have a week full of reading plans and I'm very excited about it. And today there's going to be like a lot of cleaning and stuff. So hopefully I'll have like a lot of audiobook listening time. But let me close out this intro because it's too long already because I talk too much. And um, I will see you guys probably later with like some B-roll. I'll probably get some B-roll of us doing stuff. Um, so yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Sorry for the angle, but I'm going to make this a very quick update. I just finished editing my weekly reading vlog, so I'm just currently waiting for it to post and go up and upload. But I am actually going to charge my battery because it's freaking dying. And I'm going to go make some coffee so I can cuddle up with a book. My boyfriend actually just went to the gym because he just wanted to go work out. So I'm going to take advantage of the quiet and get cozy with... Um, a cup of coffee and read for a little while so that's the plan okay so we had a change of plans I know I ended up going to the corner store and I got a lot of snacks I went kind of crazy okay I got a lot of stuff <laughs> so I got these chocolate cream cube wafer snacks that look good I also got these it's just hazelnut cream. Then I got like these biscuit cookies. I got a Kit Kat. Got a bag of Cheetos. I got these, which are one of my favorite snacks. The apricot glazed puff pastries. Love these. These are my favorite snacks. And then I got these for my boyfriend. They're just wafer rolls. He loves these, so I'm just gonna keep these for him. But yeah, can you tell I'm on my period? Because I'm having so many different cravings. <laughs> but I'm just gonna chill here and read for a bit and eat my snacks and i'm probably gonna end up watching something because i feel like watching something so that's what i'm gonna do now 
And that's that's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna make a cup of coffee in a little while and have some snacks. So yeah, okay, that's it. Bye. <laughs> Monday. How are you? Today has not been my day, y'all. I am upset today and I'm in my feelings and I just want to read all night. I don't want to do any adulting. I want no responsibilities and I just want to read. Um, so yesterday I did end up reading a little bit of open water. I didn't get to read as much as I wanted to, but I was able to get up to page 56. Um, and I think I'm actually going to cuddle down with this book right after I shower and stuff later. Um, but yeah, that's what I was able to do. I did get a couple more pages and also to a Dawn of Onyx, but I don't have my Kindle or even the physical book next to me, so I'm not going to. But I do have a mini library haul that I wanted to tell you guys about. So the whole point of this entire week was for me to read thrillers for a whole week. It's not actually going to happen. I might still title the video me reading thrillers for a whole week. Um, because last week I read a thriller that was recommended by Jan and it kind of sparked a whole idea where I really want to start reading more thrillers. So she recommended five thrillers. She recommended I think two more than these but these were the ones that were available via my library. And I'm going to see how many of these I can make out for the next couple of weeks. Um, and see what happens. My goal is to hopefully read two of these this week. I have a lot of other things going on in the week also, and we all know I can't stick to TBRs. So, for the first things first, we have The Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley. We have Stay Awake by Megan Golden. We have Daisy Darker by Alice Feeney. This one I'm actually am excited for because I did read Rock Paper Scissors, and I did enjoy that thriller. Um, then we have The Overnight Guest by Heather... Whoa, Goddenkoff? I'm going to think. Um, and then we have The Villa by Rachel Hawkins. I read, which one was it? The Woman Upstairs or something like that by Rachel Hawkins before. And I did not love that one. I think I gave that one like a two and a half or three star maybe. But The Wife Upstairs, that's the one I read by Rachel Hawkins. But this one is very short. so And I do like the cover. Not going to lie, I like the cover. But my hold for the Paris Apartment audiobook came in. So I did start that on my way today. And I'm only 42 pages in. I will say I'm kind of bored. I don't really know what the heck's happening. But I'm very, I'm very into just the beginning. Excuse me. I'm only in the beginning. Yeah, I don't really know what the heck the mystery is just yet. I just know that we're getting a lot of POVs. And it is kind of hard to stick to each and every single one so far. But once again, I'm not really that far in. And I do still own the guest list. I have never even gotten rid of it. It's probably like in my um side door because i have like a bookshelf that's outside my other door anyway um but yeah so this is what i'm listening to at the moment and i i think i forgot which other ones i ended up placing on hold i have the overnight guest on hoopla so this might be another one and i think i was able to get the villa on libby um i placed a hold for the villa on libby so these two um, I probably won't get to this week, but hopefully I will get to sooner rather than later. The only good thing about thrillers is that they're very fast reads. Um, so, that's nice. But the Alice Feeney one I do want to read because I did enjoy Rock, Paper, Scissors. So there is that. Um, oh, this is from the author of The Night Swim. I didn't know that. That's cool. So yeah. <laughs> these might be the back burner. I think these are going to be my thrillers for the week. If I can get through all three of them, that'll be great. Um, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and probably stick to open water tonight and I have to read A Dawn of Onyx by the Speaking for the Book Club. So I have a lot of like reading <laughs> things happening this week, but we'll see how that goes. Um, but I will be bringing the Paris apartment to the gym tomorrow so I can read on the treadmill as I do cardio. Um, after my strength training and I'm probably gonna listen to the Paris apartment as I work out. And I don't know, I'm probably just gonna read on my couch. I may or may not get B-roll. I'm sorry in advance if I don't get B-roll. I'm just not in the happiest mood today, so that's okay. I think I'm just gonna relax and try to forget about what the heck happened today because I'm upset about it. Uh, but yeah, I will see you guys later.
Hi, happy Tuesday. I'm in a little bit of a better mood today. Um, but I wanted to give a very brief update, nothing too crazy. Um, but I have a lot of plans for today. So first things first, I ended up actually hopping on some private reading sprints with Jan last night. She was so sweet. She uh, actually hopped off Jody's Patreon reading sprints to read with me for like an hour just because I needed the company. Um, and I love her to death for it. But I was able to get a good chunk into open water. Now look, okay, am I reading this ridiculously slow? Yes, okay, but it's because I keep stopping every freaking page to annotate something, okay? I can't like, I kid you not, like every single page has something that's annotated and I can't undo it it's like just so freaking good it's so freaking good um look at that I just literally wrote everywhere all over the freaking page like it's so good the writing in here is phenomenal I'm like what 92 pages in I'm a little over halfway through and this is gonna be my top 10 books of the year like I already know it it's already becoming a favorite of all time I can see myself rereading this book a million times and finding new quotes every single time I, I freaking read it um, I was following along with the audiobook yesterday, but then I would have to constantly stop the audiobook so I could annotate it. So I just stopped listening to the audiobook and I started just physically reading it last night. And I'm loving it. Also, I just like love the tabs because the tabs literally match the book so very well. But yeah, loving this. I plan on hopefully being able to finish it today if I have the time. If not, I'm not in like any rush to finish this book because it's been freaking fantastic. But I would like to finish the book. Then we have the Paris apartment. So I did um, read this during my workout today and whilst on the treadmill I made it I'm at the 100 page mark So I'm literally 100 pages in and to be honest, I don't really give a fuck about what the heck is happening um, So all I know is that this Ben guy is missing and you have like Five or six POVs of different people who live in the apartment. You follow um, a couple of residents who live in the apartment You're following the concierge you follow um a bunch of freaking people i don't freaking know um and somehow i think they're all intertwined into the mystery of the book because pretty much where the story leads off okay let's get into like a mini series a mini synopsis so you follow this girl already forgot her name because she's not memorable at all um so you follow her i think it's jess i think her name's jess uh, so I follow Jess. Jess is Ben's sister. She's going to Paris to stay with him for a little while um, while she gets like back on her feet. When she arrives at his Paris apartment, he is not there. He's not there and he hasn't been there now for like 24 hours. And she doesn't want to report him missing, but he's fucking missing. He's not there. <laughs> um, so like now we're also in the head of a bunch of other POVs. So there's like a lot going on You're trying to figure out like what the heck's going on with Ben. Jess is trying to figure out what the heck is going on with Ben and the, she definitely has a past. All I know is that her and Ben I believe are half siblings. Ben was adopted by like a very rich family whereas she just was stuck in the foster care system. So that's really all I know about the book. Um, there, There's like things happening and obviously like the apartment itself is kind of sketchy but that's really all I know about it. Um, I'm not loving it. I'll tell you that much. Like, I'm not. I'm not gonna DNF it because I can't DNF a book to save my life. But I'm gonna continue reading it and hopefully it gets a little bit better. I do hope I have some. E I just heard a weird sound. I hope I have some audiobook listening time at work today. But let's see how that goes. I probably won't have any audiobook listening time. But it is 7:30, three, and I need to go to work. So this will be work at 7:30. So I'm already three minutes late. Um, but I'm gonna go hopefully I have some audiobook listening time and later I have a whole freaking to-do list that I have to get done today So I want to wash the dishes. I want to Fold my laundry. I need to wash my hair. I need to edit my 24-hour readathon and get it scheduled to go up if I Edit it within like a decent time and I can get it up and do a thumbnail for it today I'll probably just get it and get it up tonight But if not, I'll just do it tomorrow and then I would like to finish open water if I'm if I can My boyfriend's going to the gym tonight because he had a meeting this morning at 5 45 So you couldn't go we couldn't go to the gym this morning together So I went to the gym this morning, but he's going tonight Which means that I should have a quiet household for like two hours So I'm hoping that I can read and edit as he's gone and I think I should be able to finish open water and then I would just want to vacuum my apartment. Um, so, like, that's pretty much what I have to get done today. But the dishes and folding my laundry is going to take up a very big chunk of time for me later. Because folding my laundry is going to take me, like, a fucking hour. Because there's a shit ton of fucking laundry to fold. And I have to put it away. And that's not going to be fun. But anyway, I'm going to go now. I'm going to go to work. And I will see you guys later. Hopefully, 
I get a lot of reading done today because that's the hope. I would like to make it at least halfway through this. So I'm going to continue listening to the audiobook and go along through there. I know Jan said that she physically read it, but I don't have any physical reading time. So I'm just not going to physically read it. And I'll see how it goes. And I'll probably check in with you guys again. Probably, hopefully at the 50% mark. I want to get about halfway through this today. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, I will see you guys later. Hi, I am home. How are you? Um, so it is 510. I just got home and I have a reading update and I have an unboxing. I know what this is. I do not know what this is. So he also just left this door open as hell. So hold on. Okay, so let's get into the update. So I am about, I think, 47% of the way through the Paris apartment. So I am almost halfway through and it is starting to get my attention. I will say that there there is like a certain little reveal that we got that I thought was interesting and added a cute little twist to it. Um, so I am intrigued to see what's going on and what happened to our freaking brother. And there's obviously a secret going around that's part of the apartment. And I am intrigued enough to continue reading. I was thinking about possibly DNFing it because I was so bored. And I didn't really give a shit about what the heck's happening. Now I am starting to kind of give a little bit of a fuck. So that's good for me. <laughs> um, and I'm excited just to be home right now. I really want to be as productive as humanly possible today so the first thing that I'm gonna do is wash my dishes because that's the last thing that I want to do so we're gonna wash my dishes clean up the kitchen and then I have to fold laundry put it away I want to tidy up my apartment a little bit and I want to vacuum and then I also want to edit my 24-hour readathon I want to catch up editing on this vlog schedule my 24-hour readathon I'll hopefully go up tomorrow if I don't finish editing it today that I definitely wanted to go up on Thursday um, and then I want to finish open water so I have a really big to-do list <laughs> And I sent it, oh my dress, I really want to wash my hair, so there's a lot going on tonight. But it's 5 o'clock, so I have a couple of hours to myself. Um, but first, this is a Pango order. This is actually for another 24-hour readathon. I'm saving this for my next 24-hour readathon. And that is Spy Family Volume 1. I'm very excited for this. I cannot wait to read this. Um, so I have never read manga, and all of my friends rave about this manga, so I cannot wait to just deep dive into this i actually also already have volume two coming to me also so i plan on reading both of these during a 24-hour readathon and probably the readathon that we choose to do next month if you guys don't know i do a 24-hour readathon with a bunch of my girlfriends and we do it like monthly and it's really fun and i love 24-hour readathons because they're just so much fun to do um and yeah so i'm very excited for this i cannot wait to start this and just be completely obsessed with this entire series um, and then we have this. I don't know what this is, and honestly, it's probably just something that I forgot I ordered. But I didn't see anything on my, um, my Amazon. So, I don't really know what this is. Shut up! Shut up! Who did this? Hannah! Oh, I want to cry. Stop. <laughs> it's my fifth copy of Addie the Room. So this is the special edition blue copy that came out for the anniversary of Addie the Room. And it's so pretty. Oh my god. Oh my god, I love it. I cannot wait to do my reread for Addie. But Hannah. Oh. She's gonna make me cry. I'm very emotional right now. Hannah, you beautiful soul. You do not have to do this. Thank you. Oh my god, thank you so much. Oh my god. I love, I love you. I just love you so much. Hannah, that was so sweet. Oh my god. You did not have to do that. Oh, you beautiful. Oh, there's a ribbon. <laughs> Allison has a ribbon. Look at it. This is now like my fifth copy of Addie LaRue. If you guys don't know, this is one of my favorite books of all time. I love Addie LaRue. Um, and I have like every single special edition of Addie LaRue and I love it to death. 
Um, so yeah, oh my god, it's just so pretty. It's so pretty. Thank you so much, Hannah. I cannot express how much this means to me. I love you so much. Thank you so freaking much. Oh my god, I love you. I just, I freaking love you so much. Thank you. Um, I'm just gonna go cry now and just feel grateful that I have the friends that I have because I love them so freaking much. Um, so yeah. Oh, I cannot believe our SJM read-along is over. It feels like we've been doing it forever, which we have. But cannot believe it went by that fast. God. Anyway, yeah, that's the update. Let's go be productive now and let me go text Hannah and cry. Okay, bye. Hello, how are you? What? It's Wednesday. I just got home. It is currently 5 o'clock on the dot. Um, and I was in like work clothes but I'm about to cook and I changed and I meant to do this update before but my man distracted me anyway update I finished it I finished it now look I don't really know what my rating's gonna be because the first half of this I didn't love and I was honestly going to DNF it halfway through if I didn't like if it didn't pick up for me but after the halfway mark it got better it did it got a little bit more interesting and the ending the ending was good. I really enjoyed the ending. I thought the twists and turns that kept on coming was so good. And there was this one thing that had me shooketh. Um, and I am enjoying it. I will say that the writing wasn't too bad. And everything did make sense. And everything did click at the end. But I don't know. I mean, I think I'm probably going to give it three stars. I think I'm going to give it three stars. Even though I loved the end, the first half of it just was not there for me. And I wanted to DNF it. Um, and that last half didn't really want to bring it up because it was sitting at like a two star for me I really was just so bored um, But the second half did pick up um, and then the last like the last probably like 50 or so pages was so good Like they were little page turners. They were so good. So glad to say this is three stars and I did enjoy it So thank you Jan and the next one that I am going to be picking up. I'm very excited for the overnight guest, guys. I am going to pick up the overnight guest. I don't know why I'm excited for this. Probably because it's short. But for some reason, a woman receives an unexpected visitor during a deadly snowstorm in this chilling thriller. She thought she was alone. I don't know. I don't know why. I know literally nothing about this. But for some reason, it's intriguing. So I do have the audiobook. Um, so I'm hoping I can maybe start it today. Maybe. Uh, the writing in here is very big, so that gives me hope. Um, so yeah, and I'm going to return this one, and I am still currently waiting on my, uh, hold from Libby for the villa, because that's the one that I really want to end with, is the villa by Rachel Hawkins. I want to see if I give her a second try how she goes. So, hold on, let's go on Libby before I forget to do this. To be manage alone return early look at me returning books early who would have thought that's even possible um and then okay i don't know okay it's saying that i'm first in line to get the villa but it still says approximately two weeks but it's possible it could come faster so hopefully by the end of the week i can get that um hopefully by the time i finish the overnight guest i can get the villa let's hope we're gonna hope Let's see if I can get on Scribd. Scribd is not my favorite place to listen to audiobooks, if I'm being honest with you. And I have to pay for it. Which is sad. You would think because I pay for Scribd, I would prefer it. I don't. So the villa is only available April 7th. And I'm not filming this on April 7th. So hopefully I can get that. It's a very short audiobook also. It's only 8 hours. Um, so, yeah, anyway. I'm going to start this book hopefully sometime later on today, but today we also have a nice little chunk of a to-do list. One, I have to finish the rest of my laundry because I only did half of it yesterday, which is what I wanted to do anyway, so that was fine. I need to make dinner today and clean the kitchen. So I am making salmon today, so it shouldn't take me too, too long, um, but I think I'm probably going to put on my show, which is The Big Bang Theory, which you guys probably know if you've been here for a while. I just constantly rewatch The Big Bang Theory <laughs> for no absolute reason. I just enjoy it. Um, and it's like a comfort show for me, so I'm probably going to put that on as I make dinner, and dinner should not take me too, too long. I don't really know how I'm going to make the salmo yet. I'm probably going to make it in the oven because I don't, I'm lazy today. <laughs> I'm just lazy. So that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. Um, and then we'll see what else I do from there. I want to start this book, and I need to edit this vlog. I need to just 
catch up with a couple of clips because there's a lot of footage for this vlog already that I did not mean to do, um, but there is. And I did read a little bit of open water yesterday. Guys, yesterday was a very, very productive day for me. I did everything I wanted to do. I folded half of my laundry. I split my laundry up to uh, what I wanted to do yesterday and what I wanted to do today. And I was able to fold a bunch, put a bunch away. I washed my hair yesterday, as you guys may see. She's not an oily mess today. Uh, I washed the dishes, I cleaned my kitchen, I deep cleaned my oven, I edited my video, I posted it, I did my thumbnail, everything yesterday. And I ended up managing to read a good little chunk. I didn't get to read as much, I did get very um, into my vlog and I ended up just finishing it yesterday and I was very happy about that. So, there was that. Anyway, today I think the consensus is I want to wash the dishes... No, I want to make dinner and then I have to wash the dishes and then I want to put away clothes. So I'm probably going to be watching my show as I do that. Maybe I'll stick in the audiobook if I feel like it, but I'm going to try to start this today. If I don't, then I'll start it tomorrow, but I really want to start it today. And I think I'm going to have a huge chunk of listening time during my work day tomorrow. So hopefully if I can finish this tomorrow, I'll be happy because I want to end this vlog off, if not Saturday, then Sunday, but I would prefer to do it on Saturday. So that's that's the plan also like I'm actually reading thrillers and I'm enjoying them so if this isn't your sign to read outside your comfort zone I don't know what is okay because I do not read thrillers I don't I don't like them I've never liked them if you've been on this channel you know I despise thrillers and I'm having a pretty good time so far so that's one thing I am enjoying so far but yeah anyway I'm gonna go now and I'm gonna go make dinner and watch my show and I'll probably watch some booktube also so that's it okay bye <laughs> Hi, how are you? Okay, what's happening? <laughs> um, okay, so I let me find out where I am. Hold on, okay. Hello, I'm almost done with this damn book. Okay, I'm on page 261, and things, things have happened. We've gotten a lot of reveals, and I'm loving this book. I really am. I'm loving this book. This book is great for a fast good fucking time okay like if you need something to read for like that's fast during a 24 hour readathon this is the perfect book for a 24 hour readathon okay it's super fast i cannot put it down i'm literally about to sit my ass down with some cookie biscuits and freaking go to town and just finish this book because i need to know what else happens like i just need to know what else happens we just found out a twist that i did not see coming and they keep coming and i'm loving them so, I'm going to go finish this now, and I'll update you when I finish the book, <laughs> because honestly, if the twists keep coming, I might give it five stars. I just might. I finished it. I finished it. I finished it. I finished it, and I fucking loved it. I freaking loved it. I loved every single thing about it. I can't, like, I can't even fathom what just happened. The ending was beautiful. I loved the ending. I thought the ending was chef's kiss amazing. And I cannot believe I'm really going to do this right now. But I think I'm going to give this five stars. I think it's going to give me, I think I'm going to give it five stars. Just because, one, I've never read a thriller this fast in my fucking life, okay? Um, and it kept my attention throughout the entire story. Like, even in the beginning when I was confused because, like, you're, you're following a different, you're following different storylines throughout different periods of time. So you have different timelines, you have different POVs, different storylines, and there's not much context, but every single story is good. Like there wasn't a specific story that I looked forward to more than the other one, if that makes any sense. Like every single one that jumped around, they were all good. They were all really great. So they keep track of, and you wanted to know how they all came together. And when it came together, it came together. Okay, I could not put this book down. I highly recommend this book for like a good fast read, a good old time, a 24-hour readathon. This is your baby. Okay, trust me. You will read this in a couple hours. Okay, it's so good. It flies by. The chapters are pretty short. And I loved it. I loved it. I'm giving it five stars. I cannot believe I'm giving it five stars, but Jan did it, okay? Jan did it. She is getting me to become a thriller reader, I guess. I don't really know what the heck's happening with my life. I feel like I feel like I'm having a crisis moment at this point. Like, I don't know my identity anymore. <laughs> but I, I loved this so much. I'm not even going to give you guys a synopsis because I went into this blind. I didn't know anything about it. I knew nothing other than the fact that 
they this cover gave me vibes like i remember when i picked it up this was the one that i was actually looking forward to the most because of the cover something about the cover got me for no reason like there's nothing on this cover that you would think would grab me but it did it just did and i'm very much looking forward to seeing what this author has i think the author has other books the weight of silence is a new york bestseller Maybe I'll check that out. I don't really know. But I, I really loved this. I cannot believe I loved it. I cannot believe I read it this fast. Like, it's not even like, it's 514. Like, when I tell you I just read this the minute that I came home to finish it, I finished it. Okay? Like, I cannot believe I read this entire book today. Like, I started this baby at like 5 this morning. And I worked an 8-hour shift. Not even. I left work early so I can come here. I worked... A seven and a half hour shift drove home and still managed to finish this like oh, I loved it I loved every single second of it thank you Wow I'm still in awe I love that I loved it so the next book I was gonna pick up was the villa by Rachel Hawkins but Jan does not think I'm gonna like that book at all. I still do plan on reading it eventually. I don't really know when. My hold has not come in from the library, so maybe whenever I get that, I'll listen to it. But she was like, girl, if you try to physically read that, you're gonna hate it. <laughs> She's like, if anything, just try it for the audiobook. But she doesn't think I'm gonna like it. I probably won't like it, but I still wanna give it a try. I did not like The Wife Upstairs by Rachel Hawkins. I hated that book. I think I gave that like two stars. Did not like it. I thought it was freaking boring and you see the twist coming but anyway so the next book i'm gonna start is picked by jan and it's stay awake by megan golden this is from the same author who wrote the night swim i have not read the night swim um i might read it after this book who knows um this book is not too long i will say it probably is like the longest thriller that i have and it's like 340 pages so I am going to be physically reading this, so this might take me a little longer, but I just washed the dishes and I don't really have plans tonight. I know, but I'm going to cuddle up and read this book is what I'm going to freaking do. I'm only going to start this in just a little bit because that's all I really want to do right now. I really want to read. Um, but my other plan is also to finish open water but if i don't finish open water today i'll finish it either tomorrow or saturday i'm not in a rush to finish open water because i'm loving it so much it's okay um because like i'm physically reading open water also so it's like i am have been reading open water before bed it's like literally on my counter um my nighttime table and i just i've been loving that so much but i might just start this baby because I really want to because Jan said that the beginning is fantastic and it kicks off with a bang so I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing so yeah um it's currently 5 17 I think I'm gonna probably relax a little bit and then start this baby and I will give you guys an update whenever I have one okay all right let's go let's do this <laughs> Friday I had a bomb ass workout in the gym um, and I just showered I have made some coffee and the plan is to read so last night for some reason Juan and I decided to take a nap it was gonna be a quick 15 minute nap we had our alarm set and we uh, I slept right through it for some reason we took a nap at 7 Woke up at 9.15. So, I didn't really get to read much. I read a little bit last night before I fell asleep. Uh, I got to page 17. I got to page 17 and things have kicked off right away so I am excited. I'm actually about to hop on with Jan and do some fun early morning productive sprinting. We're just going to hop on and read with each other but... I think she just finished her video, so I'm just going to hop on, send her a link, and yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, we're going to read, so that way I can give you guys content. <laughs> but I'm excited. I'm hoping I can make a good chunk in this um, before I go to work. Um, I do have to go to the library because I have to return a couple of books. 
um, that I've already finished. It's so satisfying returning books to the library that you actually read and finished. Like, it's such an accomplishment. <laughs> but, yeah, so. Let's, let's do this damn thing. Let me send her a link. And I will see you guys later. Um, and that's it. That's what I'm doing today. Okay. I don't know why I'm still talking. I also have to edit today, but we're not going to do that this morning. This morning I'm focused on reading and I'll focus on editing tomorrow. So the plan is to end this vlog off tomorrow. So I would like to finish this by tomorrow. Hopefully it's quick. I am physically reading it, so I really do hope it's quick so I can finish it tomorrow. So, yeah. Anyway, okay, bye. I'll see you guys later. Say hi. Mm -hmm. um it's sunday i not been doing so great to be honest i'm actually here to close off the vlog so i didn't actually get to read anything of stay awake so on friday i um on friday i was gonna go to starbucks and i was gonna read a bit after getting off with jan and i unfortunately got into a car accident and i if you guys don't know, that is literally like my biggest fear because um, I am already extremely anxious with cars so I just like have been going through it. So I have had no mental capacity to actually read but I do plan on finishing Stay Awake eventually because I'm genuinely really fucking interested in it um, and it's a very fast read that I cannot wait to get into um, which I think just kind of proves that I think I'm becoming a minor thriller girly. <laughs> So I, I'm i excited to continue it. I definitely am going to finish it eventually. So stay tuned for more vlogs that are going to be coming up. Because I think that might that might actually be like a 4 to 5 star prediction. But with that being said, I am going to close off the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was supposed to be me reading thrillers for a week. But it ended up becoming like me reading jan recommendations for a whole freaking week but i freaking loved it i hope you guys enjoyed it too um if you did please give it a thumbs up please subscribe if you haven't already and turn off turn on my post notifications so you guys know every single time i post a bookish video and i'll see you guys in a video coming soon bye